Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming. So we are taking a look at some of the videos related to baseline concepts. So in this video, we will see how to create baseline flag and related variables using the concept of maximum base type. So there will be cases wherein instead of checking for the latest record on our prior to treatment start date, so we may be asked to use the maximum value seen during pre-treatment period as baseline. So we will be seeing that example in this video. So let us see the specification. So we have ADT, the derivation of it says extract the date portion from VSTTC and convert it into numeric value. And we have param variable and for it the derivation says set to the proper case values of VS position concatenated with the values present in VS test CD variable and VS STRESU concatenated within a set of parentheses. And then for param cd it says if vs position is equal to sitting and vs test cd is equal to sysbp then set to st sbp otherwise if vs position is equal to sitting and vs test cd is equal to diabp then set to st dbp and then we have the derivation for param n it says if param cd is equal to st sbp then set to 1. So wherever param cd is equal to stspp, so we need to set it to 1. Otherwise, if param cd is equal to stdbp, so we will have to set it to 2. And then we have a val derivation which says set to the value from vsstresn. And then we have a visit variable. It says for the source records, if sdtm visit variable is equal to screen, then we are being asked to populate the a visit value with screening. Otherwise, we are being asked to convert the visit values to proper case and assign to a visit. And then we have a visit n. It says for the source records, if vs dot, sorry, in a visit, I think for the records where ablfl is equal to y, we are being asked to set to baseline. And then for a visit n, so if visit is equal to screen, then we are being asked to use a value of minus 1 in a visit n. Otherwise, we are being asked to set it to visit num. And then after deriving the baseline record on the, whichever record is becoming our ablfl is equal to y, on that record, we are being asked to overwrite any previously set value with a value of 0. And then we have ablfl derivation. So it says set to y on the record with maximum non-missing result on or before treatment start date for each parameter within a subject. So it is the maximum non-missing result on or prior to the treatment start date is being considered as baseline here. And if there exist multiple records with maximum value, so we are being asked to pick the latest record. So base is nothing but uh, we are being asked to populate with the value a val from the record where ablfl is equal to y across all records of that parameter within a subject and then we have the derivation for change variable it says set to eval minus base on the records with ADT greater than treatment started which means we are populating change value only on the record on the post baseline record so that can be identified by checking if the vital signs assessment date is after treatment start date and then we have percentage change variable here it says divide the change value with the base value and multiply the resulting value with 100 on records where ADT is greater than treatment start date and base is not missing and base is not zero. And then we are being asked to set the base type value to maximum. So we'll now see the programming for this. So here on the left hand side of my screen, I have the SAS program that creates the uh, output data set for this lesson and on the right hand side I have my input data set and also the intermediate data sets along with the output data set that is going to be generated. So here we are using vital science data set as example and creating VS01. So we are creating derived variables on the source records. So let us take a quick look at our vital science data set. We have data for two subjects 1001 and 1002 and there are records corresponding to diabp and systolic blood pressure for these two subjects across different visits. So now let us see how we are going with the programming. So here we are creating param cd and param n variable. We are checking if vs test cd is equal to systolic blood pressure and position is sitting. If that was the case, so we were asked to use the value of stsbp in param cd. So we are assigning that 
if the condition is met and then we were asked to populate param n as 1 when the param cd is stspp so we are assigning that in the same condition within a do and block and then we are doing the same processing for dia bp so if vs test cd is equal to dia bp and vs position is equal to sitting then do param cd is equal to stdbp and param n is equal to 2 and then we are creating our param variable here so we are converting the position values to proper case using prop case function of sas so the first letter in the value present in vs position would be converted to uh, upper case and all the other letters would be converted to lower case and then we are concatenating a space in between and then concatenating the value present in vs test and then we are concatenating the result unit values within parenthesis here and then we are creating our ADT variable. So we were asked to extract the date component from VSDTC. So we are extracting the date component from VSDTC using sub str n function. So we are starting from position one, we are extracting till the 10th character. So we will uh, get the date component from it. And then we are converting it into a numeric format using input function and then yymmdd 10 dot in format. And then for eval, we were asked to copy the value from VSSTRESN. So we are doing that in an assignment statement here. And then we are handling the derivation of a visit on the source records before creating our ABLFLY. So after creating ABLFLY, we would have to reset the a visit and a visit and values on the record, which is becoming baseline. But for all the other records, this derivation is applicable. So if visit is equal to screen, then do a visit was supposed to be screening. So we are assigning that text to a visit variable. And then on the same record, we were asked to use minus one for a visit n. So we are doing that here. And Otherwise, a visit is equal to proper case values of visit into a visit and then the value from visit num becomes a visitant. So we are doing that here and then we are writing a format statement to apply date nine format to the newly created date variable. So let us take a quick look at our VS01 data set to see if our derived variables are added. Yes, we have our param cd, param, param n, adt, eval, a visit and a visitant are added as per the these sections of the code now let us move to the next section so in order to identify the pre-treatment records we need to have our treatment start data available uh, alongside the collection date in vital signs so we have the treatment start date available in our demographic data set so the rfst dtc here in this example is nothing but the treatment start date so we will be converting this into numeric format and then fetch it into our vital science data set so that we will be able to check which records are pre-treatment records. So here I am creating a data set called DM01 using DM data set. And then I am creating a variable called TRTSDT by extracting the date component from RFSTDTC and converting it into numeric format. And then keeping only the required variables of use of JD and the newly created treatment start date. And then I am applying a format of date nine to the TRTSDT variable. Now I have TRTSDT in DM01. So in order to fetch this treatment start date into vital signs, I need to merge it with our VS01 uh, from DM01. So I am merging VS01 to uh, DM01, merging DM01 to VS01 here. So before that, as for the requirement, both the data set needs to be sorted based on the same by variables which, he, which we intend to use in the merge. So here we are merging at subject level. So we are doing sorting of the records in VS01 and DM01 using proxert at subject ID level. So here after subject ID, we have given preference to paramen and ADT, but this is of importance. Like we need to have all the records of a subject together. So we are sorting and then merging. So in the, when this step is completed, what will we get is we will have the treatment start date populated across all records of the subject. So let us take a quick look at our VS02. So here we have our treatment start date populated across all records of the subject and the corresponding treatment start date is present in these rows. So now we will be able to compare our analysis date with treatment start date to check which records are pre-treatment records so that we can derive our baseline flag. So as per the specification, so we were supposed to use the last non-missing, the maximum non-missing value 
on or prior to the treatment start date. So in the next step, in the proc sort, I am creating a new data set called base01. In this sort step, I am filtering those rows where ADT is less than or is equal to treatment start date, which is which will give us the records which are collected on or prior to the treatment start date. And at the same time, I'm also checking whether the result is not missing. So if this is the case, so only those records which are pre-treatment would be subsetted into this base 01. And at the same time in this base 01, the records would be sorted based on the values present in this. So let us try to understand what is happening with this by statement. So all the records of a subject come together and within the same subject, if we have multiple parameters, all the records of a paramen come together. And within, if we have multiple records within a param for a subject, so the record with lowest eval would come on top and highest eval would come at the bottom. So, and if there exists multiple records with the same highest value on two different records, so we are giving preference to ascending ADT, which means the record with lowest ADT would come on top and record with highest ADT would come at the bottom. And then if there exist still multiple records within the ADT, so we are giving preference for ascending visit num. So here, we have ensured that the record with highest result within a parameter and if there exist multiple records, so the record with the latest date is coming as the last record within each parameter and subject with this sort order. This is the key. And then we need to subset the last record within each parameter. So we are doing that here in the next step in a data step. So we are creating a data set called base02 by using our base zero in data set which we have used here so and then we have indicated to the by step by uh, data step that our records are sorted based on this list of by variables and then after that we are filtering the last record within each parameter of each subject so and we in the pre-sort we have ensured that the last record is our required record so we are now keeping only the required variables of use of JD, paramen, ADT, visit num, ABLFL and eval. So ABLFL here I am assigning it manually as Y because this data set will contain all the rows that would become our baseline rows. So let us take a quick look at our base 01 first and then we'll see base 02. So if we try to filter for one subject and parameter. So here if we see there are two records for this subject and parameter during the pre-treatment period. Out of these two records, so we should have chosen the record with the uh, highest eval. So here there are two records with 122 and 146. So in this sort we have ensured that within the subject and parameter the record with lowest eval comes on top and the highest eval comes at the bottom. So as we have sorted it in ascending eval. So the last record has it. So in the next step, what we have done is we have subsetted this record by using last.paramen. So which means last record within each parameter of a subject. So if we go to base 02 now for subject 1001 for paramen is equal to 1. So we got the record which was having a value of 146. So this record is technically our baseline record. So which means subject 1001 at visit number 2 uh, with a paramen 1. Uh, ADT 29th April 2003 record is becoming the baseline record. So we need to use this level of information to pull our ABLFL into the parent data set. And then we need to use the same data set uh, the second time, but populate this eval as base on all rows by uh, bringing the information at subject and parameter level. So we'll see that in these next steps. So we have our VS02 data set in order to populate the baseline. So I am sorting use of the parent data set with use of JD, paramen, ADT, and visit num. Because a visit ABLFL corresponds to a particular date or time till a particular time value. So I am merging my base02 data set at subject, paramen, ADT, and visit num level. So that they so for example, this subject 1001 on paramen is equal to 1. On the date of 29th April, where visit num is equal to 2, the ABLFL would be populated. In this data set, I also have the eval value, which is nothing but our baseline value also present. But when merging for baseline flag, we need to drop the eval. Otherwise, this would override the value present in the left hand side data set. So we have now 
populated the baseline flag in the parent data set and we are naming that data set as vs03 let us take a look at this one so we should now have ablfl added so if we see here ablfl is coming as y here and y for the second parameter of first subject and these two are the baseline flag records for subject 2 for parameter 1 and 2 so in the uh, as part of the specification so we were asked to override the values in a visit in and a visit once we had the baseline flag derived so we have on the record where ablfl is equal to y so we are setting the a visit in value to 0 and a visit as baseline so we have done that and in the next step i am sorting vs03 based on subject id paramen and adt so we were discussing that the value present on the baseline record which is in a val variable is nothing but our baseline value so we need to populate this value across all records of this subject and parameter so how can we do that we can just keep our u subject id paramen and we can just rename a val as base and merge it with our parent data set so far like our parent data set is has become vs03 in which we have pulled the ablfl y uh, ablfl flag so in the next step i am merging my base02 uh, with vs03 so vs03 is being merged with base02 at this time so i am keeping only u sub jd paramen and eval and at the same time i am renaming eval as base here so and this merge is happening at subject and parameter so and i am creating this data set called vs01 so let us take a look at vs04 let us take a look at vs04 so we should now have our base value populated across all records of that subject and parameter so we were taking a look at the cases so the record uh, with ablfl is equal to y has an eval of 146 so this value should technically have been populated across all rows of that subject and parameter so which is happening here so next step is to create our change from baseline and percentage change from baseline as per the specification on all the records so we were asked to set the value as maximum so we are assigning that text to base type variable and then for change and post percentage change from baseline we were asked to populate it only on post treatment record so which could be checked with the condition of analysis date greater than treatment start date so we are checking if analysis start date is greater than treatment start date if that is the case so we are entering into this loop so wherein we have additional conditions checked for so if eval not is equal to missing and base not is equal to missing so in order for the change to be calculated both of them should have a non missing value so we are checking if both of them have a non missing value Value. and if that is the case so we are creating our change variable as eval minus base and then after that we are creating our percentage change from baseline so we are dividing our change value with the baseline value and multiplying it with the 100 so this completed the derivation for our change and percentage change variables as well so let us take a look at our vs05 to see if we have change and percentage change populated so these are the two records which are prior to the treatment start date if we examine here so this record is on 15th april whereas the treatment start date is 29th april and this record is on the date of treatment start date so we consider this as uh, for baseline period so we cannot populate change on these records so here we have 13th may record whereas the treatment is on 29th april so which is post treatment so on this record we are populating change and percentage change so change is populated as eval minus base so eval on this record is 142 whereas the base is 146 142 minus 146 is minus 4 so we are getting that correctly populated similarly we have assigned the text base type on all records of the input data set so base type is populated across all rows and finally i'm sorting the vs05 data set based on u sub jd paramen a visit n and adt and then i am creating a data set called output wherein i have kept only the required variables uh, let us take a look at the final data set before we close this video so we have u sub jd base type and within parameter so we have ablfl populated change and percentage change populated as per the requirement so this is how you can derive baseline flag when it is different from conventional definition where you may have to check for the maximum value during pretreatment for baseline thank you for watching and keep learning